they're about to meet with some of the world's top marketing and PR experts so you can see how to launch extremely low-cost campaigns in today's highly networked world. Our Million Dollar team are some of the world's foremost authorities on this subject, but be warned, they've got some bad news. When television came along, it wasn't the radio companies who, who were successful in television, it was a whole new set of companies who were successful. So the internet has the same phenomenon. So the, the skills that you need to be successful on the internet are a different set of skills than you know, maybe what you used to have to have. If you learned marketing on the job or you learned through school, um, you learned about things like the four Ps and you learned that you had to buy access through advertising and you had to beg the media to write about you. Those things aren't effective online. So you have to unlearn those skills um, or um, you have to fire the people who you have on the team who only have those skills. So if marketing is out, what skills are required to succeed in the internet age? We asked the experts. What works today is publishing excellent content online in all of its forms, video, audio, blogs, great websites, uh, and that requires an absolutely different way of thinking. You're thinking like a publisher, not like an advertiser, not like a communicator, like a publisher. The fascinating thing about the internet is this concept that it connects each and every one of us to everyone else. We've never had that before, all our media through human history has been a one-to-many structure, whether it's a, a verbal or orator in the old Greek days, whether it was newspapers and the newspaper editor delivering the news to the masses. Marketing online allows you to reach people directly as opposed to reaching people through somebody else as your gatekeeper. So it's a really um, liberating way of, of communicating. Everyone today goes online to research products and services and to answer problems that they have. They go first to the search engines. And that means that you have to create some excellent content that um, is indexed by the search engines that people are talking about on blogs and forums and chat rooms. And as a result, when people are doing their searches for uh, products and services like yours, you will be seen and you will be able to get your information out there in a way that they'll positively um, have a relationship with your organization before they even walk into your virtual door or your, or your physical door. If you come up with an innovation that serves, uh, that resonates with customers, the internet will allow that innovation to spread dramatically faster than any other technology has ever enabled a new innovation to be adopted in the history of mankind. Our experts agree the key to the future is attracting customers with really compelling content. When you hear from our experts in greater detail, you'll find that each has their own views on what makes great content, and we'll be exploring that more in the rest of this series. Where our experts are in total agreement is that if you want to be sure that your content will definitely attract customers, you need to understand who you're dealing with, what they love, and where they gather. If I were um, advising small business people, uh, a, a small business person, I would say the first thing and the most important thing before you even try to create any kind of content at all is to step back and understand who are your buyer personas. Who are the people that you're trying to reach? And I want to know who they are in detail. Once you know who your buyer personas are, you need to interview those buyer personas, representatives of those buyers. Find out who they are, what are the problems that they have that your organization, your product and service can solve. In their words, I want to know in their words, not yours, because we're not going to be egotistical with the content we create. We're going to create content um, that is in the words of our buyers. Then, I, don't, I want you to stop talking about what your products and services happen to do. And instead, think about what it is that you want your buyer personas to believe about your organization. So if you are still working to the traditional rules of marketing and PR, you could be in big trouble. What the experts are clearly saying is that you need to focus on publishing content over the web. It is the gateway through which you can connect with over a billion potential customers. That's their strategic advice and it's already helped generate many billions of dollars worth of sales. Now it's time to hit the boardroom to start working on your campaigns. So if you're a $1 million club member, log in to work on your campaign right now.